I had a very vague general interest in atmospheric science, so meteorology and clouds and storms and all that. I've always been inspired by Stephen Hawking. He always goes after the big questions. It really shows passion. When I was enrolling in my subjects, I saw astronomy as a, a unit and I thought, that'd be cool, I'll take it as an elective, you know, do one semester. I was so interested in it that I wanted to do research, I wanted to do my own stuff, I wanted to learn more than what they could teach me. That's when I started my honours year and that's when I got into the project that I'm doing now for my PhD. My topic is inhomogeneous cosmology. Cosmology in general is a study of the whole universe. You don't realise how different research is from regular university until you do it and you realise I actually have to figure this out on my own and you go to your supervisors and they can't immediately tell you the answer. <laughs> so you ask them a question, they go, I don't know, it's research. <laughs> so I've actually got to go and figure it out for myself, which is hard, but I'm learning how to do that. You reach challenges every week. You get stumped on something and you, you can't possibly see a way that you're gonna figure it out and you feel like quitting. But when you figure it out, it's the best feeling in the world and you have the motivation to keep going. So far, the highlights for me have been the travel that I've been so lucky to, to go on and meet the people who I wouldn't have otherwise had a chance to meet. When I finish my PhD, I'm most interested in going into academia just because I want to keep doing research. I want to spend all day trying to find out cool stuff in science. My advice to anyone thinking of doing a PhD at Monash would be to do it. Everyone who's done it can help you through it and everyone who is currently doing it has been through any problems that you have. So you always have people around you to support you. Even though it is hard, it's equally as rewarding. You've just got to remember how much you love it. A big part of it is taking a step back and explaining the big picture of what you're trying to do. And I get to say, hey, this is actually really cool.